sneeze on the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. And I'm asking you, sir, at the top of my lungs. He was very upset as he shouted and puffed. What's that thing you've made out of my truffle and tuft? Hey, you're in the Lorax. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, sorry. What are you doing? Sorry. I'm just getting my uh, stuff ready. I'm gonna go out and plant some trees. That is a plant really some trees. great thing to do. Yeah. I'm reading the Lorax because you know some people call me the Lorax. They call you the Lorax. They do. I uh, plant trees and grow fish and stuff like that, so they've, I've actually been coined uh, the Lorax. Of Red I Red. have been called the Lorax as well. In Come fact, I just got done sprinkling some more seeds. Uh, they call me Johnny Apple Lorax because I, uh, I spread the love and plant the trees to. everywhere. I so. actually built a whole outdoor classroom and put trees into the Red Lion Area School District. You did so that? I did. Really? Uh-huh. Yep. That actually happened. You know, one time I was driving down the road and I came across an accident on the side of the road and I noticed it was actually one of our colleagues. Oh. It was Mrs. Lacerda. Was she okay? I don't know. I got out of my car and I walked over and I noticed that her car was up on a hill laying on top of a baby tree. And I looked at her. The first thing I said, Mrs. Lacerda, Are you, okay? you killed a... No! You killed a tree! How could you? She was okay, by the way. Oh, but that's why they call you the Lorax. Yes, yes, that's why they call me the Lorax. That and I and Johnny Apple Lorax. Yep. Yeah. So, so I mean, I don't know if this space is big enough for two Loraxes. No, so you'll have to leave. I, I don't think that's how this is gonna go. Okay, explain to me then how this is gonna go. We're gonna leave it up to the kids. They're gonna vote which one of us is the better Lorax, and. Uh, you guys can I just. Got this. What, how are they gonna? How are we gonna know who what who they vote for? Uh, they should send Mr. Bell an email. That's bellj at rlasd.net. Makula or Langford as the better Lorax? Which one? We're gonna fight this one out. But you know what, Red Lion, there's always room for lots of you to care about trees because today happens to be. Did you know Arbor, Arbor Day? Arbor Day. Yeah. Did you know that? Yes, I did know that. That's hey, awesome. Loraxes would know that. Because right. today's a day to celebrate trees. And guess what else it is? It's Friday, Red Line here at Junior High School, and you know what that means. It is time for the pride drawing. Let's do this. Let's do this. And now we'll go plant the tree. First name is Jalen Day for following instructions carefully. From Mr. Woodhams. Way nice to job. go, way to go. This one is for Mrs. Langford for planting trees. Langford. Way to be respectful to the environment, Mrs. Langford. Who's that? Okay, this one. I thought you were the <laughs> Lorax. Are you what's your Kason Farley for being engaged from Mrs. Stork. Nice job. Okay, I'll actually read this one. This was Susanna Lucas for being engaged and putting forth effort on the PSSAs from Mrs. Ooh, Taylor. Ooh, way to go. I'll do my second one, too. Brayden Cobb from Grothy. You cleaned up the classroom when no one else would. Brayden, that's the kind of pride behavior we're looking for. I thought you, I thought, match. I, I thought you had three already. No, I admitted that I lied. You lied? I was being... The Lorax would never lie. Integrity. Elena Martin, effort on PSSA's day two was tremendous. Wow, a lot of PSSA Way workers here. Nice job. Very good. All righty. And the last one for this week is Alex Smith from Ms. Kirby for being dependable. Way to go, Alex. Way to go. Well, ladies and gentlemen... Thank you for your good behavior, and don't forget to vote for the person you think is the better Lorax. I think I'm going to wear my tree shirt tomorrow. And happy Arbor Day. Have a great weekend. See you guys. Have a good day.